If you use Home Assistant, you also probably are using Companion app. And everybody knows how you can send notifications from Home Assistant to your Companion app. But what if you want to do things the other way around? For example, if you receive notification on your mobile phone from whatever app you want to track, how can we get that notification back to Home Assistant? Well, today we're going to play with the notifications from our mobile phone into the Home Assistant. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Before we begin, I must thank Henrik Sotzi for creating this package and I have been using it or reusing it in my own Home Assistant. So, thank you Henrik. If you want to push notifications from Home Assistant to whatever, it can be either your mobile phone, your TV, smart speakers or something else, we all know that we use notification service. But what for example if you want to track something in your mobile phone, for example, some kind of app. In this case, today we'll be playing with the Glovo app, but it can actually work with anything. You can use it on Twitter, you can use it on Facebook, you can use it on whatever mobile app you have. The only condition is this only works on the Android phones. Because iPhones are so much better that unfortunately this functionality is not supported on them. So if you have Home Assistant, if you have Companion app and if you are using Android, this video today is for you. So what's the use case? As I mentioned, Glova, for example, you order food and those applications will push some updates to your mobile phone. But maybe your mobile phone is somewhere else, on mute or whatever, and you can miss notifications. There is a way on how to get those notifications from mobile app into Home Assistant. So for example, if you order something from Glovo, in each step of the process, and that is order received, order processed, cooked, delivery picked up, delivery on the way, delivery is nearby and delivery is at the front door, you would receive a notification in Home Assistant or actually you would receive data in Home Assistant and then in Home Assistant we can use that to push that text to our speakers and that way you will not be missing on your notifications. Same thing goes for the other apps. First things first, you need to enable some of the settings in your companion app. As I said, unfortunately, this will not work if you have iPhone, because iPhone doesn't allow us to mess with their ecosystem because they know better than we do. That's why if you have Android and companion app, open the companion app, click on the settings, scroll down to companion app settings, click on sensor management, scroll all the way down to notification sensors, click on last notification item, Make sure that this sensor is enabled, because we need this sensor inside Home Assistant. Then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and click on Allow List Item. Here you are presented with a list of all the installed applications. These are both system applications and also apps that you installed by yourself. Scroll to the app name that you want to enable. In my case, this is a Glow app. Enable it and the setting is done, at least on your mobile phone. Next thing we have to do is go to our Home Assistant. As I have already enabled this on my system and I did receive notification, actually this is not a global delivery notification, but the global advertisement, nevertheless we can see the state here in Home Assistant. This is the state of the sensor. We have a lot of information that some of you may use for some other purposes, but actually we are going to use just a couple of them. As you can see, we have two things that we are interested in here. These are the text, this is actually the text of the notification and this one is the title. In my case here, this is notification about the discount and this one says that Umami is offering 10% discount plus some other offers in the app. If this would have been order, we would receive order information in those title and text attributes. Besides that, we will be using two more attributes. One is this post time and the other one is package. Package will be used as a condition in Home Assistant because we want to make sure that the notification that we receive is actually from the Glovo app. So for example, if you have Volt, Glovo, Dominos or whatever and enable all of them, for each of the automations you would create a separate automation with condition package equals and then the name of the package. This is actually not the name of the application, this is name of the package and you can see that in the list of the apps where you enable that specific app. Next one is post time. 
This is actually Linux time, telling us when this automation was sent or received. Using this as a trigger, we are making sure that we are triggered based on the last message sent. So let's check the automation and see how easy it is to use something like that in Home Assistant. This is the actual automation for this service. We are using trigger based on the state of the entity. This is Pixel 7 Pro last notification. When the attribute post time changes, it will be triggered. In conditions, we are making sure that this entity that was just called in, attribute is the name of the app that we want to use this automation on. In this case, this is the global app. And the last part is of course the message. We have global message, then we are pulling the title and then the actual text notification. But there is actually one hidden code and that one is variable. Instead of using this long sensor name here and here, we are using variable last notification to substitute this entity with last notification. Since I've already triggered this, we can check traces and we see that this was triggered, condition was met because we wanted the state com.glow and we received it, so the result was true. And then we created notification that says global message, this is the title, and then we have the actual message from within the notification. And of course, you can substitute and use this to push notification to any text-to-speech service and then push it to your smart speakers. Or for example, for test purposes, I will substitute this with the persistent notification and we will create persistent notification with the message this here. Let me save it. And I will be using set state to trigger the notification. It has been triggered. And in notifications, we have notification here. But remember, you can use it for anything. For example, you can get notifications from your bank app, push those notifications to your home assistant. You can pull data if there is any data in the messages and use it as a sensor data. There are really a lot of cases where you can use something like this. I will be leaving a link to the GitHub repository where you can find the original code. Plus, on my GitHub repository, I will be posting my version of the code. This code is better if your system can use packages. My system is running packages as a split configuration and I'm unable to just import this file into my system and have it working. That's why I had to substitute some of the code from this GitHub repository and make it work in my own Hope Assistant. And that's it. It's a really neat service that you can implement inside your smart home. I really would like to hear your comments. Do you like this service? Do you use something else? Or do you have any other ideas on how you can use this to get most out of your smart home and your mobile phone? If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because then YouTube will recommend this video to more people. And while you are there, check that you are subscribed. If you are not, hit on the subscribe button so you get notified on the future video updates and of course the streams. And before I end up the video, I really would like to thank all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, shared, liked, commented on my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, you can always send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.